morning. What a difference a month makes. Um, last month when I did a video at this time of the morning, which is, well it's actually 25 past 7 now, uh, it was actually light. It's now actually dark and pouring with rain. It's the 6th of October. It's eight days into my um, latest juice fast. Uh, things this time haven't been quite so tough with the sort of side effects that I had last time, where sort of third and fourth day in, I think last time, I was really rough. I mean, I felt rough, headachey and lethargic and just out of sorts. Uh, this time, not so much. Um, a little bit on the second day, my legs felt really tired. I went for my usual walk with the dog and my legs felt a bit sort of jellyish like when I was walking back. So I didn't have as much sort of energy or stamina as I'd normally expect. And on the Wednesday, I had a little bit of a headache just behind my eyes. It never actually came forward at all, but I was still conscious of the fact it was there. Um, again, I think that's a bit of a sort of detox, sort of caffeine withdrawal that sort of comes with it. But apart from that, it's gone really well. This time I have found though that I've got a bit more fed up with having the same sort of juices. Uh, last time I was able to have the same sort of juices for two weeks and not really um, you know, worry about it. This time it sort of got to Friday and I was a bit sort of cheesed off with the whole uh, green juice. So I've been having more uh, juices from the book that I showed you last time, the Super Juice book. So I've tried the Grapefruit Glitz, uh, which was um, grapefruit, oranges and lemon. Um, but for me it was a bit too sharp, so I did actually end up adding um, pear and kiwi just to soften it out a bit just to get rid of a bit of that sort of harshness from it but that was really nice um i've also been having um pear apple and spinach because actually you don't taste the spinach at all um, and the other one i tried the other day was um mango uh pear apple and again spinach or kale and you, you, in fact you don't taste the spinach or kale you just get the color from it so it comes out a sort of bit you know more greeny than you would expect if you just had the mango apple and pear um but yeah really good really really tasty juices i recommend you know if you find it difficult to get the veggies down add some extra fruit some pears or apples uh, just to add a bit of sweetness and sort of take away the edge. So, um, as I said, we're eight days in, so today's my uh, weigh-in, so uh, let's go and weigh myself. I'll zoom in. I'll try and remember to zoom out this time before I uh, talk to you again. Whoop. So, 15.10... Um, last time, oh, so 15 tens, so that's 12 pounds, that's not bad, that's not bad, it's not quite as good as last time, obviously last time it was 15 pounds, which was absolutely amazing, but 12 pounds, I mean 12 pounds, I'd take that to be quite honest, um, 12 pounds is pretty impressive in uh, seven days, seven days, full days of doing the juicing, so I'm really happy with that, I'm really happy to be back in the 15s, um, so 2, 3, I think it was 2, 3, 2 last time, so that takes me down to 220, 220 pounds, which is excellent. I'm so glad to be in the two twos again. Um, and I'm going to carry on for another week because I feel great. My energy levels now are back to normal. Um, I tell you what, I have been drinking more of though. Some um, coconut water. I don't know whether you've tried that. Um, oh, and this is my fridge, by the way. Can I just show you how many veggies? So this, <laughs> this is celery, cucumbers. Look at all those cucumbers in there. This is my more, cu more celery. This is uh, spinach. Spinach in there, I hope you can see that. This is kale as well, which is pretty amazing. And then in the bottom here, I've got loads of carrots and ginger. This is the ginger here. If you haven't seen ginger root before, that's what it looks like. And you just peel it and it goes through the juicer. Uh, but this is the coconut water that I've been having. Um, the Vita Coco coconut water and I really like it and actually sometimes um, in the morning or in the evening if I don't feel like having a juice which I know sounds a bit weird um, but sometimes you, you you've had enough to drink do you know what I mean you've had enough sort of thick juices you just want something to keep you hydrated but also get some nutrients in you because I don't like bananas a lot of people do like bananas I don't I'm not a big banana fan 
but the Vita Coconut has got more potassium in it than a banana, which really surprised me. It's expensive. I mean, normally it's about £3.74 £3 for a carton, which is a litre. Um, actually, in the supermarket at the moment, it's on offer for £2, which is the reason I bought it. Um, I wouldn't say it had a particular flavour to it. It's quite plain. There's a bit of an aftertaste with it, a bit of a sort of a sweetness and a little, maybe a little bit of a coconut flavour, but maybe that's all in your mind because it's called coconut water. I don't know. Um, but it's really nice. It's it's worth trying if you, you know, if you fancy it. And it's apparently got, you know, really good health benefits from what I've been reading on uh, the internet. So uh, we'll wait and see. But at the moment, I'm buying it because it's on offer. Once it goes back up to £3.74, um, I won't be buying it. Uh, by the way, £3.74, it's about £1.65, I think, uh, dollars to the pound, so you could sort of work that out yourself, sort of times it by 3.75, you get an idea of how much it is in dollars. So um, this is the rest of my uh, fruit. So uh, these are my apples, and this is not even a week's worth because um, these were actually started on Friday, so actually it was, you know, more sort of up there somewhere um so they're apples and a lemon um i haven't been having quite so much lemon again for the same reason about the tartness this is my juice all in pieces at the moment and this is the rest of my fruit so i've got pears here um pink grapefruits uh, which i prefer to the uh, white ones uh, apples eating apples these are more these are my Husband Nick's apples, they can go over there. Um, kiwi fruit, which I've been trying as well, which are really nice juiced. Really good if you actually, if you find it difficult to sleep, kiwi fruits are sort of a natural um, aid to sleep. So if you find it difficult to sleep, have a kiwi uh, or two in your juice before you go to bed and uh, you'll, it should help. And oranges, lots of oranges, just to, to break it up again. So there we go guys. Um, £12 in a week. Again, amazing result. Really happy with that. Um, and I'm going to carry on now for another week. Uh, so I'll see you in uh, seven days time. And thumbs up. Hope your diet's going as well as mine. I'm really pleased. I'm sort of back on the wagon. I'm feeling strong again. So I've just got to carry on with it. And um, I'll see you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.